Yes, and Zanzi, welcome back. It's your feel-good breakfast show, a world of magic that we live in. And let's talk about this. We use the term magic so loosely. It, it, like, it felt so magical. Uh, let's make some magic or she's like a magician. But what is magic really? Now, sleight of hand artists, illusionists and escapists mixed with a little comedy makes for pure magic. I definitely say so. So this morning, two such extraordinary humans are joining us to talk about their mission to entertain. Now, let's welcome to the show Sebastiano and Joe. Yes, 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 put your hands together! Oh, when you said magic, you already had me. Listen, guys, I want to talk to you first, Sebastiano. What inspired you to even get into magic in the first place, man? Um, I mean, so like a while ago, I was like into this like accident, right? And I lost the use of my hands. Oh, and, whoa, okay. No, I'm just kidding. It's the plot of Doctor Strange. Hey, come so. on, man. <laughs> okay, no, I'm glad you I got just... your hands. I'm glad you're good, yeah? <laughs> no, I, I make this joke because it's not really that emotional story. It's just kind of like I started learning um, a little bit of side of end, a little bit of card tricks, and then it's just like, it's like a drug. You, can, you have to keep on like learning new stuff, and then you start performing, and that's it. Once you start performing, you can't stop. Because well, that's the hook. Like, I mean, it's one thing doing magic, but it's another thing making a career out of that. Like, what was that turning point for you? Um, it just kind of happened very randomly when suddenly a friend of ours actually uh, hired me to do a magic show. And it was the first time I got paid to do magic, and I was like, oh, wait. You Whoa. get paid? <laughs> this okay. is amazing. That's amazing. Yeah, well, I love that. What's the hardest trick you've ever performed, bro? Uh, it's funny you mentioned that because a couple of weeks ago it was the South African Magic National Championship. Like a competition? Yeah, like a competition. Oh, okay. Which I got second place, by the way. So. Whoa, dude, yes. congratulations, yeah, man. Nicely done. What did you do? So that was a very, very hard trick because I, I, it was kind of like a mentalism type of thing. I uh, pretended to connect a person to uh, a doll. So every time this person couldn't see, like but every time, vibes. yeah, Whoa. every time I touched the doll, he would raise his hand, and there's footage of it, like it's it's online, and it was it was very, I was so afraid it wasn't gonna work, but That's it did. Insane, so man. That well was the done, trick. well Thanks. done. Now listen, Joe, you do magic of a different kind. You make people <laughs> laugh. I think it's something that's so important right now, especially the world we live in. There's so much chaos, there's so much negativity, but you're coming through and putting a spin on things. Why do you think comedy is so important right now? Listen, I think comedy, uh, one thing that I have noticed about South Africa is that South Africans have an amazing sense of humor. Yeah, we uh, can we, laugh at anything. Really, I mean, you <laughs> see the memes that come out every time there's like a catastrophe or a crisis. South Africans have definitely a best sense of humor. And comedy is quite important, I think, as a stress reliever, you know, because we live in such chaotic lives right now, social yes. media, yeah. you know, load shedding, affecting our lives so much. Uh, and I think it's quite important that comedians come out and just try and make people laugh, share the laughter, as I always say, uh, and yeah, just put a smile on people's faces when they're having a stressful, stressful time. Oh, right let now. me tell you, South Africans going through the most, so uh, we definitely yeah. are always here for the comedy and being able to turn any situation into a smile. So, guys, you've got an incredible event. You're down in Cape Town, obviously, not just to you know, have an interview, but there's an awesome event happening where people can get a taste of this magic. What's happening? Plug us in, and how do we get involved in it? Okay. Do you want to say it? Or? No, it's your show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's actually happening tomorrow night. Uh, yeah. There's like a restaurant called El Greyo. It's in Woodstock. And we're going to do, it's mostly a comedy show, but I like to, uh, I'll be hosting, so I would like to do some magic just to kind of warm up the crowd. And then we do have a magician who's going to headline at the end of the show. So it's a bit of a mix of comedy and magic, and it's going to be tomorrow night, El Greyo. How do we get tickets? Woodstock. Uh, you can go on my Instagram account, okay. Sebastiano.ola, or you can check um, at Grey Your Comedy Night on Tixa. All right, definitely. Yeah. And I think it's also available oh, sorry, on yeah, Quicket uh, as well. So we'll put up those okay. details again. We are going to be going through a demo, I believe. So you're going to be sharing some of this magic with us on the show. But Jens, thank you so much for coming through. I think this is something that we all appreciate. We all absolutely love. So your talents are so, so welcome in this country. Welcome to Cape Town. Welcome to South Africa. But for now, though, Mzanzi, don't go anywhere because yo, Sebastian is going to be doing something amazing. He's got an incredible magic trick up his sleeve. He's rolled up his sleeve, <laughs> so it's going to be even more difficult. And you definitely want to stick around for this one. It's going to be good. <laughs> it's my feel good Yes, Zanzi, welcome back to the magic. It's your feel-good breakfast show right here on S3N. 
It only is really magic if you see it happen, right? So we're going to do just that. We've got Sebastiano Ola right here alongside Joe, the comedian, and they are from the Magic Company to show us exactly why he is so magical. Also, in light of that incredible event happening tomorrow night, you can get yes. those tickets at Quicket. It is what, what's the venue's name? It's called El Greo. El Greo, yes, that's yes. the one. It's out in Woodstock, 80 Rand for those tickets at Quicket. But here's a reason for you to get even more involved. It's live on national TV, and Sebastiano is bringing us a magic trick. Yes. So. As a magician, unfortunately, it's required of me of doing a card trick. It's I can't, I cannot. Standard, I, yeah. I just have to do. I just have to do a card trick. But yep. we'll try something. Okay. Um, I have a deck of cards over here. <gasps> <laughs> Is that also like a magician that's thing? Gonna, you have that's to gonna know. be easy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, just want to show it to you really quickly. It's just a regular deck of cards, right? Not in any particular order. I don't trust you magicians here. Let me just make sure. Yeah, yeah, check that. That's duplicate. No, I'm okay. no, no, check some. You're good, okay. I'll get it, good. So, standard deck of cards. Yeah. What I want to try to do now with you is that I need this kind of order of the card to be like random, and not just like any random. Like, I need you to make certain choices that are unique to you. Whoa, okay. Because I want to get to a certain point um, in this trick. So, I'm going to ask you, simple, to cut the deck, just to begin. Cut like the this. deck, okay. Yeah. Let's cut, cut the that. Deck. There we go. So, where is the, even like this? Now, are you happy with two piles? Or do you want to maybe like cut another pile? Like we can. Ah, three times the charm. Yeah, can we make okay. another pile? Okay, let's make another pile. So, so can I cut this one or this one? Doesn't matter. Uh, up to you. Doesn't matter. You sure? Yeah, doesn't matter. Okay. As I said, I want it to be. There we go. I want it to be as, as. Three piles. Yeah. You have no idea how I cut that. No. I'm happy with that. So okay. I want it to be as random as possible. You want to stick with three piles? Three. Yeah. Three, three is the magic three, number. Three times the charm. Yeah. Okay. Three is the magic number. Now. Um, I was going to ask you, but then people are going to be suspicious that you're in it. Yeah, so Joe's got that face. You just don't want to yeah. trust, eh? No, <laughs> it's okay, Joe. So I just want to say, you. you made a mistake right now by doing that. <laughs> we keep it with you, okay. I want you to pick one of these piles. Yeah? Free choice, just choose one. Pick a pile. Yeah, pick a pile. Oh, okay, let's go with this one in the middle. Okay, so we, we, we start with this one, yeah, okay? Yeah, one in the middle. All right, so this is part number one, because I'm trying to randomize this as much as possible. And I'm watching you because I don't trust you, magicians. Yeah, I'm onto you, bro. Okay, look, look at my close hands. attention. Okay. I want you to pick another pile. Another pile, okay? Yes. That one. Yes. Happy with that. Okay, so this one goes there. Um, okay, I feel like I feel confident now. Do you want me to finish with this pile, or do you want to maybe eliminate this pile? Like we just completely like not use it. Yeah, the... not use it. Like gone. Mm, let's take it out, Joe. We'll take it out. Let's take it okay, out. Okay. So this yeah. one, this one, Joe. Let's take it out. One on this one. So this is the pile we end up with. Yeah. Right. And you felt like this was kind of random choice. Yeah, I'm so like, right what now. is going on? We're just randomly cutting okay. cards. You have no idea what's going on. There's, there's no trick here. I can, I can tell you that much. OK, so right now, do you have a phone with you? Uh, yeah, I do. Can you do it? Because if I use my phone, people are going to think it's a special magician app. Sure, or something. sure, so sure, you have sure. A phone. Yeah. Can you go to my Instagram account? OK, Sebastiano. Which is great for marketing. Hola. OK, if you don't already, you need to follow this man, Sebastiano. Yes, OK, I've got yes, you over okay. here. Yep. So it's, this is, it's not even a business account. This is my personal account. Mm. You can confer, if you scroll through the picture, is my personal sure account. I scroll through this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, OK, nice, nice. Very my personal Ooh, account. Oh, some Nature Boy picture yeah, as well. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, Look yeah, at my yeah, kind yeah. of magician, all right? This is okay. a normal profile. Nothing crazy going on here. I want you to choose a picture that you like. Oh, I've already seen it. It's this one over here, man. That one. Oh, yeah. it's a great answer. Underwater meditation, yeah. the ultimate source of nonsense. I love it. Yes, okay? that's it. Do you want to change your mind, or this is the picture you like? No, don't get in my head now. I'm, t I'm sticking to this one. OK, do you okay. mind like reading, uh, reading the whole description? Just OK, so it says, underwater meditation, the ultimate source of nonsense. Then he's got a hashtag, meditation, hashtag underwater, under the sea, underwater photography, and then a hashtag for, is that for? Queen of Clubs. I don't know if you guys can see that on the screen right now, but there's a hashtag 4Q and then the symbol for um, clubs, right? That's, that's a weird hashtag to put, right? And when did I post this picture? This was on the 18th of August. And so you didn't know I was going to choose this. So, yeah, in the 18th of August, I posted this picture and I wrote, uh, what is it again? 4Q and then uh, the so clubs. Kind of four Queen of Clubs, right? And four now we have this pile that you end up, uh, all three choices. Yes. Is it possible that if we now count? Four cards. No, it's a either... No, I don't believe if, this, bro. If this doesn't happen, it's comedy, button, right? <laughs> what are you telling me? You're going to choose four cards? We just... <laughs> so we'll go like one... One, yeah. Two, two. Three. So not this one, not this one. This is card number four. Yeah. And what does it say there, which I predicted back when? In the, in the 18th of August, you put a hashtag with four queen of hearts. Yeah. I mean, of clubs, of clubs, of clubs, of clubs, of clubs, of clubs, of clubs. You gave me a heart attack. No, 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 it's definitely clubs here. Yeah. Definitely okay. clubs. I think we've got this on the screen as well. Sorry, I'm just going, I'm just like, there's no way. Do you actually want to turn it over? I don't believe this. No ways. Okay, let me open up to the camera in three, 
two, one. Ah. What do you even mean, bro? But wait, Heck, there's wait. more. He knew you were thinking of this one too. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, so. Oh, all your, do all your pictures have this hashtag? Can I check? Or is you can it like... check the other picture. You can check. You can check the picture. Hang on a second. Okay, so the picture up top I've got of him. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen. 18th of say? August. There was also another one. I see the end of the hashtag. It has a two what? of spades. Is that number hashtag yes. five and then a hashtag two of spades? Let's try. Shall we try? No. Let's go. No. <laughs> so one. No. Two. Three. Four. What is it? Five. Five. Yeah. Five, two of spades. Oh, five, is it? Joe messed me up. Yeah, yeah, that was there, but it's five, or was five? it two of spades? Was it two of spades? I have so many questions. <laughs> I have so many questions, bro. What, do you just like, how many, how many? I just, bro, I'm just going I, through this. I, I, it, I'll tell you what it is. It's, what? I'll tell you what it is. It's a lot of lonely, lonely, <laughs> lonely hours. <laughs> this is <Practice>. unbelievable. <laughs> I don't know how this even makes sense, Mzanzi. Maybe you can come through and figure out how does this trick even work? But right now, I'm baffled. That is magic. I can't tell you what else is going on here other than magic. I don't trust you anymore. Uh, are you a I human know, being? Are you a robot? <laughs> Who are you, Sebastiano? I had it all the time, but it's fun. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. Oh, no, that was absolutely incredible. A lot Live TV, that's one way to step it up and show that you are a magician. And we've got the comedian standing right next to him. I wonder if he was a part of that trick or not. Maybe he was the sleight of hand. We don't know, but if you want to find out more, get involved in that show. It's happening tomorrow night. It's 80 Rand for quick kit, uh, tickets, and it's something that you're definitely going to enjoy. There's comedy, there's laughter, and some magic. I mean, what else can you want from a perfect evening? Guys, thank you so much. That was absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Nice, man. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs>